Now, three and a half years after the Grenfell Tower disaster, laws designed to make sure dangerous cladding was removed have left many homeowners with unsafe and unsellable homes and mounting bills to make them fire safe. Now, Labour is calling on the government to set up a task force to support what they claim could be as many as 11 million people affected. Our political correspondent, Liz Bates, reports. So if a fire were to start, there's nothing to stop it from spreading from yeah. flat to flat. This is really unsafe. It's very unsafe. It's essentially a tinderbox that we've been living in for the best part of a decade. Charlotte bought her first home in northwest London in 2013 and lives there with her daughter. But it was only last year that she found out that it doesn't meet basic fire safety standards and she could be hit with the spiralling costs of putting that right. We're in a real limbo at the moment and we could be facing bills of tens, tens of thousands of pounds each just to make our homes safe. How would you manage that? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't have £50,000 lying around. It's been over three and a half years since the Grenfell Tower fire and yet there are still people across the country living in unsafe buildings. The Labour Party claim as many as 11 million could be affected unable to sell their properties or pay for the necessary repairs. Today, the Labour leader was meeting some of them and calling on the government to act. How are you feeling? Terrible. Just... We want a task force straight away to identify the high-risk blocks, do something about it, um, go after the developers and the builders, make sure that you know, if you're going to have to choose between those that built and developed these flats and those leaseholders who have got no responsibility for what happened, then it's obvious that at the moment uh, the burden is in the wrong place. But identifying who is ultimately responsible is not as straightforward as it may seem. Are the developers to blame here? I I don't think it's easy to say that any one group is to blame. Um, the government is to blame, and uh, you know, going back many years with this uh, um, obsession with deregulation, developers are to blame, uh, product material uh, manufacturers are to blame, um, the construction industry is to blame. We certainly don't come out of this with any credit at all. The whole chain is broken. In the Commons today, ministers dismissed Labour's demands and defended their record. It is this government, Mr Speaker, this government which is resolving it once and for all, making homes safer, protecting the residents from crippling costs and at a pace which the severity of the situation demands. Nobody can sell. But for some, that pace is simply not quick enough. I feel incredibly angry that this, these are homes we all bought in good faith and potentially we're going to have to pay to make them safe. Mm. It's, it's, it's absolutely infuriating. Um, and then if I think about it too much, it's deeply worrying. We're essentially living in tinderboxes. I have an eight-year-old daughter. Um, the thought of having to get out in, a, in the case of a fire is horrifying. And despite promises from government today that more help yeah, so is coming, there is still no guarantee for Charlotte and many others like her that they won't have to pay for others' mistakes.